Hello and welcome, this is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more of the multi-consumer products playthrough of Solaris using the Megacorp DLC. So we did get quite a good reward from exploring this. Oh, wow. Okay, I hope the rest of the system is good because, uh, yeah, we may have to use our last outpost. Although we do have a, a couple more uh, star bases available, but we may have to use an outpost here, even if that is going to take us over our admin cap, because this this is a really good system. It'll be one that we'll be able to take advantage of pretty easily. How are we doing on our technology at the moment? What is what is what are we looking at? So in ten months we're going to have this. Sixteen months we're going to have that. Uh, we have quite a ways to wait for this one, but I do look forward to it when it does come out. Uh, we have got quite a bit of uh, benefits or positives here to increase the speed of that. So hopefully we can get that going. Uh, but really right now, all we're looking to do is crank out ships as fast as we possibly can. As far as other things going on right now, we do need housing in both Goroth and Regulus. Not a crucial need at the moment, but it is something we're going to have to concern ourselves with fairly soon-ish. There aren't any amenities here, but in theory we did build somebody something that will get them the amenities. And once we get to 25, we can build another thing that we can use towards that. Probably hollow theaters would be a good call. Uh, we don't have a lot of mineral production, which is our main downside. But hopefully we can kind of turn some of these things around. Uh, we were in a deficit for a long time, so that's part of the reason. We have a lot of needs as well, so we're just going to continue here. We do have good ally production, so we will be able to build the ships. Not as fast as I would like, but... Okay, that's actually good. Upscaling complete. Because that means uh, these guys who are already kind of on friendly terms with us have uh, rivaled the guys that we really don't like. Uh, and we're working as hard as we can. All right, so yeah, you finish that. Uh, we could probably afford another destroyer here at this point. So let's open up the Gorum station. As a matter of fact, we have exactly how many alloys we need. So we'll build another one of these destroyers. I do want to kind of keep a little bit of an eye on our naval capacity. Because once we get to, I would say, 60, I'm going to start wanting to crank out Corvettes to even out our fleet. But right now I'm just prioritizing destroyers. Okay, so Hicklum has a thing it can do. Ah, okay, so it did get its 25, uh, 25th population point, and we are concerned about our current uh, amenities, so we have to do something about that. Uh, so anything that is going to help in that regard, we're going to want to build. Now, we might not be able to afford it. This is uh, our current situation, although it won't take us long to be able to. Hollow Theaters is going to be the obvious choice, as it will give us 20 amenities, probably needed at this point. Uh, we could also do uh, luxury residences, but that only gives us five amenities and we're really far behind with our amenities. So at the moment, I think there are a couple clerk jobs we're not working that would give us some amenities, but we probably should bank on getting a lot more amenities than we currently have. So I think my, my goal is we uh, wait and then we get the, uh, the hollow theater. It's only going to take one tick here, so I'll just try and remember that's something I need to do. But our housing situation is fine on Hicklin Prime. We just need to uh, get the amenities so our people don't riot on us. Research agreement. Okay. It doesn't really affect us. Although potentially it could. Oh, we got a primordial soup thing. Uh, nestled in the sheltered pockets across that place's surface is a rich sludge of simple organic compounds that our researchers believe could be a hotbed for that word there. I'm not going to even try and pronounce that. The spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter. That place has a unusually thick atmosphere for a barren world, which could make it hospitable for simple life forms. Although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early stages of the origin of life, it would be best to set our expe expectations low, as it may still be millions of years before life evolves naturally on that place, if at all. Okay, we get a little bit of society research. Alright, so I'm looking just to see, of the people that like me, 
where are we in uh, the course of getting... Like, what we really want, we want a defensive pact. Unfortunately, these guys are quite a ways away. We also would probably want a migration treaty just to get their trust up. Uh, the other people that we would want to deal with are these guys. Unfortunately, uh, I think our trust is built up as much as it's going to be. And how far... They, they See, they're also very far away from... The, it's one of those things where I, I really should just turn off slavery. I don't know what's going to happen with our robot population if I do that, but I'm not going to focus on it just yet. But maybe very soon I will, because I, I think it may be uh, our main roadblock of getting a lot of other diplomatic agreements. Oh. I don't know if this, these guys were here before. Caravan Coalition. All right, interesting. And that does remind me, while we're at it, this is not that big of a deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the situation log and I'm going to do these research things. I held off on it before because I really wanted the naval capacity and I knew that would delay it. Uh, but now that we have that unlocked, it's not as big of a concern. So we can, you know, go through this stuff. Okay. Uh, and we are at that point where I can build what I wanted to build here. Okay. So, Hollow Theater, build away. And then somewhat soon, I'm in Goroth and Regulus, so I'm going to have to build uh, the city district. Uh, but that's Upscaling kind of expensive. Complete. Actually forgot, what was I doing with Baronic Station? Oh, I was upgrading it. Upscaling complete. But at the moment, we don't really want to do anything with this. Uh, it kind of sucks, but that's just the reality that we're at right now, is I really do not want to do anything with Baronic Station, uh, because I can't afford to. Because that costs me alloys, no matter what I'm doing, and we need alloys a lot right now, so. And we also built our, our ship here, so I'm just going to keep sending those ships over here, and as they get there, form them up with the fleet. And hopefully we can get this fleet nice and powerful. Or we need to... Oh, speaking of that, uh, how's the war going? Alright. Looks like uh, the the lead has... Dim no, it's about the same point, right? 11%? Yeah. So, they have improved. It, it, they're clearly winning this war. The defenders, that is. And that's who we want to win. Because they're the ones that are friends with us. Uh, let's see if we can do anything with these guys. Non-aggression non pact... Uh, mandated lo uh, Loken. They're kind of far away from us, if I remember correctly. Yeah, they're down here. Um, yeah, we're still going to do this, because it will get our trust up, I think. Uh, and at the moment, we're... We have no trust built up with them. So, probably a good idea. Considering that they like us that much, and, uh, we are... Not having any trust building with them, they may actually be a good ally to us. Alright, well, we'll go ahead and confirm this. It looks like they accepted. Now, I don't know if that's going to immediately have an effect. It shouldn't. Obviously, we want to get a commercial pack with them if we can. Uh, speaking of commercial packs, because we now have the cheaper ones, um, I believe it was this system was one that we thought about doing a corporate office. How much does it cost now? That's actually not that bad considering... The distance modifier, but we also have the universal transaction thing, which uh, lowers it. Uh, right now, it's not really worth very much, though. But we do have a lot of energy credits, so we may be able to get away with that. I think the other two ones down here are ones that were not exploited. Oh, well, that one's that one's taken care of now. And see, that's a problem if we wait on these things, is that our, our other friend gets in. All right, and this one's going to be fairly expensive, although it's cheaper than it once was. Uh, yeah, I mean, the biggest problem is these are our newer colonies. So, uh, it's going to be a lot of investment for not a lot of gain right now, but eventually it will be worth it. Uh, considering that I have... Uh, but the branch offices take up an administrative cap, don't they? They do. Hmm. 
We could build one there and there, but we'd have to worry about the admin cap. I think we do it anyway, just so we can get a presence in these guys and pure him ver ver, because if we don't, we're going to get closed out. They might have another planet that I don't know about, uh, but they recently colonized, but I know this place and this place for sure don't have anything. Yeah, okay, so this is another example of a planet that doesn't have anything. So, this should be cheaper for us. I say we establish a branch office here. See, this is a situation here. I can't actually see the planet, so I have no idea how well it's doing. How many population does it have? No idea. Uh, it clearly is a newer colony. I feel like we should do it, though, just because we can afford it. And we don't want to wait too long. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Again, maybe not the wise move to do, but again, we want to get in here. We have an agreement with these guys, so I'm also going to do that over here as well. It's not going to pay for itself now, but maybe in the long term it will. Uh, I'm going to not do the other one that's further away. Now, these guys, we more or less have free reign because I, I, no one else can really do any agreements with them. At least I don't think so. They are the Vemstar Accord. And the Vemstar Accord... As far as I know, I mean, they've got closed borders with a lot of people, um, but they can't do any really agreement agreements with anybody. So we, have, we could take our time with these guys. And wait until it's a, a wiser choice. But for now, uh, I think we take advantage of where we can get those. And Aza is the last place that we know they don't have anything. Unless, you know, one of these other ones uh, don't have branch offices. But I'm fairly certain that, that the, uh, the our other friends have a lot of branch offices and these other areas. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. The only one I'm not sure of is this place. It might be a newer colony. Yeah, no. So they have all the ones that are well established, more or less unlock. Which makes sense. They had a longer relationship than we did. All right. Well, I'm not going to spend any more on this because we spent quite a lot. No, okay. Future market survey complete. All right. Leave B for now. Holy moly, that is a lot of... Oh, crap. We're definitely we're definitely doing something with that. Uh, let's just grab our construction ship. We do have a technology that we would uh, want to take advantage of here. Uh, it's only six months away. All right, we'll be patient. Uh, you are on your way. We're not quite able to afford another destroyer. So we'll wait. Yeah, the, the construction of this, uh, this stuff is taking a little too long for me. Maybe we start building stuff in Baronic Station because it will have some impact on us. Like, for example, I can get my trade value up by getting an off-world trade trading company. Uh, that will be useful uh, immediately. We can get more defenses so that we don't have to have a fleet here, so we can use that fleet elsewhere. There's 100 alloy, though. I was kind of hoping it was 50. No, we want to get that fleet power up. I think we'd be patient. Let's, uh, let's see where we're at with, uh, the bad guys, right? The bad guys are these guys. Um, so they are still overwhelming superior. Yeah, I really don't like it. How's the war going? Still 11%, so that's good. Yeah, I'm just not a I'm just not a fan of uh, our current situation. I don't have very many alloys. Oh, I should be able to build one at uh, special project actualized. Warp station. Oh. All right, uh, let's do this first. An investigation into a peculiar cluster of debris and space dust has yield, yielded surprising results. 
is a particular cloud bristling with a powerful charge of unknown origin that has no business exhibiting a simple reflexive actions, yet let alone movements with purpose, and yet it does. There's something undeniably ominous about the hazy subject of the relayed video feeds. Perhaps there are things in the universe we should not tangle with. Okay, so this gives us a uh, special project. Uh, I'll take a look at that in a second here. But for now, let's go to the shipyard and get another destroyer cranked out. All right, let's take a look at that. So, cloud study. Take a science department with collecting and uh, collating data relating the void clouds. All right. I don't think we do that, though. It takes a long time. And right now... We want the shields to pop out as soon as we can get them. So, yeah, I think we hold on that. Oh, crap. My one science ship's not doing anything, is it? Actually, both my science ships are not doing things. All right. Research. Um, other science ship. I just forgot all about. Um... I want to get over here. I don't know how to get there, though. Okay. Well, we can't get through these guys because they hate us. We're going to have to go a really long way. I think if you go uh, here, we can go through these guys. And then hope that this connects over. Uh oh, that's not true. We could go through this way and then up this way. Uh, eventually, maybe we could get there. Um, but in theory... Actually, if we travel, uh, we can't go through here, but if we travel down this way, all the way th down through here, this probably connects over, and then we get in up this way, all the way over to there. I, I mean, I figure we do it, because what else are we going to do here? Yeah, I guess I could uh, do more surveys in this area, but none of it is really... Super high priority. We have other science vessels in the uh, in the area. It's just it's a long trip, obviously. Um, but let's go ahead and just we'll right click here and say explore system, and then they'll obviously take the fastest route, which is going to be that way. We'll have to keep an eye on them and just make sure they're doing what they need to do and they're not dying. I'm starting to think that having. Okay, it's only two months away. I was going to say, I'm starting to think having this ship just sit here is, is wasting my time, but... Uh, another thing I want to look at... I'm not sure if this is even more expensive than it was before, or it's actually dropping in value, but... Uh, what I may want to do... Is just grab a bunch of minerals, because we know we need it. I think, I think that's probably a good idea. So let's grab a thousand minerals. We have the money and we are producing money, so that's fine. And then we go into Goroth and we get a city district. I'm like way going over my admin cap, but I, I really feel like we have to do these things because otherwise we're going to run in, out of housing. We're going to run out of a lot of things. Uh, so we're going to get a city district. That should, that should hold us over for a while. And then on a Regulus, we're going to do the exact same thing, because we're running out of housing. If we don't do this, we're going to be in trouble. So, another one there. Uh, and then, I guess we'll just uh, go from there. But yeah, mostly our, our situation is, is decent. Stream storms. Baltimore 5 frequently experiences massive and extremely violent storm systems in, an in its atmosphere. Several dozen uh, persistent storms are visible from orbit, with winds often reaching uh, speeds in excess of 700 uh, meters per second. The cause of these storms is not immediately apparent, as we have found nothing in the planet's uh, climate model that would explain them. Our scientists are interested in studying the anomaly. Okay. 
Now the question is, uh, did this location have a habitable world? It sure does not. But it has a crazy amount of resources, and we just made that even more so uh, by doing that anomaly. So, especially science research. Look at that. That is really good. And then we also have the exotic gases. Uh, this is going to be just an amazing system for us. Uh, so obviously we want to get on that. Now our science ship has nothing to do. Uh, I don't know what we're going to tell it to do, but for now, I guess we go over to like one of these systems over here and just start surveying because what else are we going to do? So uh, why don't we go to like this branch here maybe? Like, none of this struck me as being super valuable, except this one system, which has two habitable worlds, uh, which could be useful. Um, but for now, yeah, let's go over here and survey this system. Also, uh, let us do this research project. Because again, I don't really feel like this, this technology is really all that important. And it's not that big of a project anyway. All right, well, this is going to be a good point to go ahead and put a cut in the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner. Signing out.